Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to Fallout New Vegas Dust, or Fallout Dust it says there, but Fallout New Vegas Dust, I'm just going to say Fallout New Vegas Dust. Now this, this I think some of you have been waiting for for a little while at this point, ever since I finished off Fallout 4 Frost, because Fallout Dust is basically Fallout Frost sibling, its predecessor, in fact, made by the same guy, except this is actually the finished product, Fallout 4 Frost, is still very much being worked on, it's still constantly being updated, changes are being made to it. Fallout New Vegas Dust hasn't been updated for a while and the notes on the actual mod page do specifically say this is pretty much the finished thing at this point, aside from maybe some minor bug fixes in future, this is pretty much it. So yes indeed, we do have a finished survival experience from the same team that made Frost here in New Vegas and oh yes, 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 but in some ways I'm even more excited for this one, because this one's got a couple of interesting things about it. It's not just Frost, but in New Vegas. Two interesting things in particular. Frost very much portrays itself as a hardcore survival game, with more of a focus on the specific survival mechanics, because Fallout 4 already had a bunch of survival mechanics baked into it, so it was much more easy to double down on this bit. Fallout New Vegas Dust, meanwhile, on its mod page, focuses on something that doesn't really ever get brought up in Fallout 4 Frost. And that's survival horror. This isn't just a hardcore survival Fallout New Vegas, it's a hardcore survival horror New Vegas. And oh yes, 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 that has got my interest. And so too does the setup, because Fallout 4 Frost was basically a prequel to Fallout 4, set just after the war, so therefore occurring a matter of centuries before the current generation of Fallout games. And the downside of that, unfortunately, was, aside from a couple of things like, say, Parsons, there was no direct connection between the Fallout 4 base game and Frost. That's not the case with Dust. Dust is, in fact, the, well, not quite immediate, but very close sequel to Fallout New Vegas. Just in case you don't pay a huge amount of attention to, like, you know, all of the lore of New Vegas, there are various hints in the actual base game, completely in the canon, that things have the capacity to go very, very badly wrong in the Mojave very soon after the events of New Vegas itself. The two most obvious examples being in Lonesome Road, Ulysses is very clear that it's only a matter of time until the tunnelers start expanding towards the Mojave, at which point they're going to cause a whole lot of trouble. And in one of the potential endings of Dead Money, it has raised the possibility that the fog could spread as far as the Mojave as well, and the ghost people with it. Now, we make choices and we assume that the canonical ending of New Vegas is that neither of those things come to pass. The setup for Dust is, it's 10, 20 years later, and literally everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. But therefore it all just kind of sits rather nicely alongside the New Vegas canon. Ooh, I like this. Right, let's dive in and I'll show you what I mean. So naturally, of course, we need to start off by setting up a character. And while we could just be something generic like Survivor or whatever, no, 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 no. I like to, you know, play with a little bit more character. And I think I know exactly who I need to play as in this Fallout New Vegas sequel, because uh, there's been a character that I've been meaning to play as for a very long time, possibly in fact the most commonly requested character for me to play as in the history of the entire channel. It is time, five years after I originally promised to do it, to play as Doc Mitchell. The intervening years have not exactly been kind to Doc Mitchell, however, naturally he would probably have died before this point 20 odd years later, However, some doses of radiation has led to some slight ghoulification, which is why the good doctor is still with us. So, Zombie Doc Mitchell, let's go! So naturally the charisma's the dump stat, it's always the dump stat in New Vegas, but especially when literally nobody wants to speak to me, everyone just wants to shoot at me. So... Where do I need my priorities to be? Well, I can make a couple of assumptions based on what I've learned from Frost, starting off, of course, with, yeah, I'm going to be wanting some extra strength, extra carry capacity, and extra damage with melee weapons. Ammo is likely going to be extremely bloody scarce, so as a result of that, yeah, just having a bit of extra strength, probably very, very useful indeed. Endurance as much as I can have. Perception. Now, there's an interesting question right there. There's probably not going to be that many guns floating around, so I can probably do with just easing that down a little bit. Explosives, energy weapons, yeah, energy weapons aren't going to be a thing. Accuracy is generally not so bad in New Vegas anyway, I could probably do with that being four. Naturally, I want intelligence to be high because I want to level up as quickly as possible. Agility. Sneak. 
guns, action points, useful. And all skills up a little, and critical hit chance with all weapons. Do I really want to try and make it by with only five in endurance? Okay, that's not looking bad so far. I've still got another two points, remember. Do I want to get... Hmm... Should that be five? Or should that be eight? I feel like eight is not a bad idea. Eight strength, more carry capacity, hitting power, a little bit of extra survivability. But bonuses to environmental resistances wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Keeping intelligence at nine would not be a bad idea either. Yeah, you know what? Oh, unless I'm going to sacrifice a bit of luck. How much are going to be relying on criticals? Possibly a lot, I don't know. Right, let's start with that. We could respect later if I need to. And as for my tag skills, melee weapons, sneak, and... I probably do want guns, just in case. Like, the thing is, medicine would be nice, but how much medicine are going to have? Probably in the early game, not very much. Repair would be nice too, but I'm probably going to be throwing away guns or just running out of ammo for them rather than maintaining them. Science and lockpick, how many computers and doors are they going to be to open? This is much more about fighting and surviving. I wouldn't mind all. I should really probably take survival. Increases hit points you receive from food and drink. Hmm. Wait, does survival also increase how much food and... I'm pretty sure that increases how much food and water gets changed by, you know, eating food and drinking water. Maybe I'll boost that manual. Let's start with that. We'll start with this and we'll work from there. And here's an odd sensation. I don't actually want to take good natured in New Vegas. Oh, that feels weird. Right, so skilled. Obviously, I'm going to be taking skilled five across the board. Logan's loophole would be... Ah, they've adjusted Logan's loophole. Boo! That would have been good. But sadly, yeah, now that's capped level 10. Which is very, very low indeed. I was thinking about heavy-handed. Yeah, just increasing melee and unarmed base damage. But less critical hit damage. That seems like a decent start for me. Yeah, go on then. Let's go for that. Skilled and heavy-handed. And here we start inside a mysterious, non-existent room referred to as the beginning. Or maybe, maybe this is a memory, maybe it's like Frost where we'll actually find this building. It's a little bit like the, uh, the Aerotech place. And naturally, <laughs> Let's Go is playing on the radio and Let's Go is scrawled upon the wall. Just like it was at the beginning of Frost. Because yeah, the guy that made this mod is clearly the biggest fan of dead money that has ever lived. He played that DLC and loved it so much it became the central theme of the two massive mods he's created. Now, what I've got to do first off is pick a starting location, of which there appear to be nine or thereabouts. Are there only three doors in here? Yeah, looks like we've actually got a choice of nine starting locations. Now, I don't know which is like considered the default canonical one or anything. So, what I'd like to do today is just find my feet. And basically that means dying a lot, but hopefully learning from all of those deaths. So we're going to go for a few start locations, and we're going to figure out which one actually works for me. So eeny, meeny, miny, mo, you shall be the door. We're going to kick off our very first life, probably a very short life, in the abandoned warehouse. And I believe this is... Yes, I think this is the warehouse where actually you're never allowed to come in here in the base game unless you're doing birds of a feather. Other than that, this place keeps being locked away forever. And we've got some corpses. Fine, so the game is going to kindly give us some starting gear here. So, tribal battle helmet and tribal strider armor. Okay, so there's loads of unique extra new things in here. Fire resistance. Probably not that useful, especially as I think I did just notice over there. We've got ourselves uh, survivors and NCR troopers. Now this, oh, hmm, is that actual proper, that's proper patrol armor with damage threshold of 15. Blimey game, I thought you were going to be, that's a flipping rad away. Well, as it turns out, I can now confidently state immediately that this game is just going to be incredibly simple because I just happened to have picked the starting location, which comes with all the free stuff. Nice. Oh, I've even got some meat here as well. Oh, this is just flipping perfect. Oh, this is interesting. When you say tribal headdress, ah, so we've got a bit of storytelling here already. Because, of course, we know what uh, this actually is. That's the, uh, that's one of the Legion helmets. But now it's being referred to as a tribal headdress. 
Alright, so, it would appear that, yes, we're probably dealing with, uh, well, a victory where the NCR did okay, either NCR or Yes Man, because the Legion seems to have disintegrated into tribes, uh, whereas the NCR are still wandering around in proper NCR armour, though I say this... This doesn't seem like NCR standard issue gear, just a duster and a grey hat. Okay, that gives me... Ooh! That gives me extra actual carry capacity, that's not bad at all. Well, in either case, I'm guessing we're supposed to assume I was either part of, or the only survivor of, or maybe I just stumbled across, an ambush between a group of tribals and the NCR. So, ooh! Blood... Battle rifle? Well! I'm enjoying this already, this is a good starting point! Though tragically, all the sarsaparilla crates are just empty. Now of course hardcore mode is on by default, and also, yeah, compared to Vanilla New Vegas, those meters tick up very quickly. However, things that you'd normally expect to produce water, simply don't. The plumbing does not work in this mod. So, as a result of that, yeah, uh, water's going to be a little bit more tricky to come by and will become a major problem because, yeah, in uh, Fallout 4, if you actually reach the cap, the highest level of water or hunger or thirst or whatever, you just start taking periodic damage. In New Vegas' hardcore mode, if you reach a thousand in hunger or thirst or tiredness, you just drop dead. So, arguably, it's a lot more dangerous here. And indeed, just while I was just having a wander around and a loot and a chat to you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm already 5% of the way to dying. So, that's what we're talking about here. This is not going to be fun. Other problems that are starting to emerge. I may have a battle rifle, but I've got precisely one bullet for it. So, that's a bit of a concern. No, sorry, two bullets. One junk round, and yeah, one normal bullet. So, maybe just actually start off with the machete. And that armour may be good, but it also weighs 25 out of a total carry capacity of 60. So, right. Maybe this isn't quite as generous and amazing as I originally assumed. And don't forget, of course, in New Vegas' hardcore mode, just like in Fallout 4, stim packs aren't instantaneous. Instead, they do healing over time. Ditto this rat away, and this coyote meat is going to need to be cooked as well. Well, I can't technically eat it raw, but I should probably cook it. And out we come into the... Okay. Right. So. Got some raiders. Are you doing the... Ah. You are doing the old classic frost thing where you don't want me to come near you and if I take too much of a step towards you, you'll murder me. We've got to... Oh! Hello! Excuse me. Who... Who are you? Right. The NCR. Okay. So, as it turns out, NCR... Not friendly anymore. Shooting on sight. Okay, well, I'm just going to go this way. You're also going to throw things at me if I... Right. Okay, so that was life one. Right, let's try that again. As you can see on the left there, there is indeed just a single quest. The quest is to survive and to escape the Mojave. There is apparently an actual ending to this. Somewhere. And the game's not going to give me any clues. Just like in Frost, I'm going to need to figure it out myself. So you guys, let's also just quickly check how much damage I could do to you. That is not bad, because just like in survival mode in Fallout 4, all of the damage has been basically modified in this mod. So basically everybody hits a lot harder than you might reasonably expect. I go down in just a handful of bullets, but so do these guys. Just a handful of attacks will kill anybody, including NCR troopers. Look at that. That's a basic machete blow to a guy wearing decent NCR armor. So what I should probably do is, uh, yeah, bit stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. I guess we're going in. Okay. Or we're going in. Wait, who's, who's the one who decided to, right, you've decided to attack me, have you? Right. Okay. Well, this is, this is just going marvelously. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. And now I'm being shot. This might be a bad place to start. Maybe I just want to step away from these tribals here, but I do feel like there is one thing I could potentially do. So, these NCR over here, they're not going to be friendly to those tribals, are they? No, very likely not. Now, I've got myself one very bad quality battle rifle here, but oh, is that another NCR? That's more NCR on patrol. I mean, if that's just one guy on patrol, 
If I could just maybe, there's allied technologies officers. Uh, if I could just maybe get around the back of him, that might not be the worst thing in the world. I would ideally like to lure the NCR into my current location. Hello, where are you? Oh, right. That guy not keen on me. Right, you know what? I'm just going to go for a quick run. Go for a quick run. That armor is helping keep me alive. When I say helping keep me alive. Bloody hell. Right, I'm going to keep my distance, but I'm leading a friend around to you guys. If you'd like to kill him for me, that'd be spectacular. You may notice, by the way, no compass markers. Those have been disabled as well. And yes, indeed, it looks like a fight has just kicked off over there. Good. So those guys have indeed started fighting. Who is fighting who right now? That is... I'm assuming that's NCR Trooper. Yeah, NCR Trooper with his actual machine gun has just taken out two, possibly three tribals for me. Good. That's actually not a bad starting point. So, this is what I want to be doing. New Vegas is, as it ever was, fairly populated, even though things are, you know, a bit on the post-apocalypse side right now. This will work for me. So I can get myself, yeah, some poison. Right, that is, that's just a bone to hit someone with. That's probably not that useful. And that armor's not great. Now, actually... That armor does weigh only three, and it does give me sneak. I might just take that just in case. Stalker armor, arguably, not a bad thing. Now, where's that guy, and do I want to take him out? I wouldn't mind taking him out, but if I do, how am I going to get to the body without the other NCR coming over and stopping me? Right, you know what? I'm just going to... Oh, that guy's coming this way. Darn it. Okay. NCR. Perceptive bastards, as it turns out. Now, bear in mind, of course, if I want to actually clear those corpses out and someone is just standing in my way, a good gunshot from a powerful rifle should pretty much one-shot these guys. So, I would say, actually, you're holding a gun and ammunition. Probably more than one bullet's worth, in fact. So, how about we just wait for the shot and just take you... I think someone saw that, but luckily we're back to, oh, we were back to hidden for just a second. All right, probably because you keep seeing the bloody corpse over and over. Right, while the heat just dies down, maybe I should just kind of uh, visit the officers in here. Now, is this by any chance of, oh dear, no, 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 I've decided I don't want to be in here actually, the ant's going to follow me out. No, they're not, good. They don't know how to use doors. I'll take some bottle caps. For the completely non-existent traders to use. Oh, and hello. I just saw an NCR person just run over in that direction. Is he just seeing... I think he's just seeing a corpse over and over, which does not help me. Fine. Well, if you need to die too, I guess you need to die too. And yes, indeed. He's already been weakened through the fights he was involved in. So a single bullet will put you down. Just got to wait for him to wander across my sights. Down he goes. Right. Now, caution again, but sooner... That's another person. Oh, bloody hell. Right, sooner or later. Sooner or later, I'm going to stop being shot by these bastards. And actually, I think one of them's right there. And getting hopefully nice and close to some tribals. Yep. There we go. Thank you very, very much indeed. Good. So those guys value their personal space. Don't worry, I'm I'm willing to respect your personal space. Chill out. These guys have just killed a whole bunch of NCR for me. Now, there's also a sanity meter in this game, just like in Frost. So, I need to ideally not kill... In fact, you know what? You guys can have that corpse. It seems like, you know, you're standing pretty close to it. I'll come back for it later. Alright, so, what the game basically just did for me there was that battle rifle was just two free kills. And I've already used them up. But on the plus side, there is now a giant pile of corpses that I'm hoping will give me even more bullets. And oh yeah, we've got tribals all over the place here. Good, if anyone's going to draw attention from the NCR, it's her over there. And tribals seem to mostly want to leave me alone. And we've got 556 five, combat knives. Okay, those have got high DPS. Service rifle. That is not bad, but I'm already using up all my flipping ammo here. Right. Grab everything off the bodies. Hopefully some ammo. 10 and 10 millimeter junk. 
Makeshift rifle, weighs 6.5. Okay. And there's another NCR right there. I'm surprised that person hasn't started firing on her, but you know what? Don't question it. That's not that useful. Fine, so tribals seem to be the most friendly people going right now. Ooh. Oh. The 4.5 auto pistol is not that bad at all. That is not bad in the slightest. Sweet battle rifle, you've served me well, but I suspect you're already pretty much redundant to me. Now, do I actually want the... You know what, combat knife, I think I can just leave behind. Machete just seems better. Makeshift rifle. Okay, so this is basically just a pipe weapon of some description. 10mm and 5.56. Well, they always used to be the most common. Doesn't mean they are right now. Fine. That'll do for the minute. Oh, there's that lovely, lovely 4.5 pistol. And the makeshift rifle. Alright, it's even got a little bit of a sight on it. Alright, I can deal with that, thank you. Question is, uh, what do I want to use all these lovely bullets for? Oh, I feel like I'm a rich man in the wasteland right now with five whole bullets to my name. Alright, time to have a little look see round here. Because, yeah, of course, right by McCarran, I'm pretty much bang in the centre of the... Did you shoot the tribal dead by any chance? No, you didn't. Somebody shot somebody dead. I need to keep my distance from McCarran. McCarran's probably a bad idea. I mean, okay, I've got five bullets, but, you know, five bullets later, I've got no bullets. That's that's kind of how bullets work. So, got to be a little bit on the careful side here. Make sure I know what I'm walking into. There could be plenty more NCR around here because, you know, I appear to be at their base, a base they still occupy. So, this is the new NCR. Sometimes they're wearing armor, sometimes they're wearing light dusters at this point. They haven't pulled out of the Mojave entirely. Not yet, anyway. What do we have around... Oh, NCR Trooper. And he looks like he's holding a sniper rifle. Now that's... That's of interest to me. Actually, wait, who are you standing next to? You're standing next to a... You're standing next to a tribal. And neither of you seems to be angry at the other. Though both of you... Seem to be a little bit on the... Well, you're not. You're low health. Alright. I wonder how good my sneaking is right now. I mean, I did actually tag sneak. So if I could get behind the NCR, then immediately afterwards... The, oh, someone else is coming. Hang on, how many people are, are over there? More tribals. Are the tribals and the NCR ally? I mean, I know they weren't allied over there. Okay, you know what? Let's just quickly see what happens if I just sneak up on the NCR, take a couple of pot shots at him. Is the tribal going to object to that? Are you... You object to me, but not to him. This is fascinating stuff. It, no, no. Down you go. Right, both of them down immediately. Okay. And apparently, that was like, you know, bad for morale or karma or whatever. That's interesting. And you, my good man, I think... You know what? We're just going into a, a bit of a kill everything. How does this site work, by the way? I assume you just need to be in the circle. And that will be fine, yeah? And the answer is apparently not. And also, why am I taking rads? Who is... Who or what is casting rads right now? What? Uh-oh. Right, so this might be how the fog works. Does the fog occasionally just sweep in and do bad things? Could do. Right, who are, who are you? You're a tribal, which hopefully means, as long as I keep my distance, you might just leave me alone. Who are all of these people? 308 rounds. Nice. Okay. Maybe I should go and actually get that. Ooh, but there's a sniper rifle. Sniper rifles are good, and there's a stim pack. Okay, so. Change from frost. Weapons are floating around a lot earlier. Lots of people are armed. It's not such a melee fest. So maybe I was a bit, you know, too quick to put perception down and strength right up. It seems like, well, ammo is very limited, but the bare minimum, guns are floating around. But then I guess they kind of have to because of weapon degradation. What have you got? 10mm pistol together with a 10mm round. Alright, well, I think we'll leave you be for the most part. I'll just take the ammunition. Though I could take the rifle. I'll take the rifle. I'll probably drop it later. Now, what was this? That was a makeshift plasma rifle. Blimey. Ooh. 
Okay. This I approve of. By the way, let's just dump something to make some space for that. Plasma rifle at damage 25 compared to sniper rifle, that's 38 for me. You know what, I'm going to dump the service rifle. I've got one bullet for it right now. That seems okay for the time being. Yeah, this, this I can deal with. So, I've now got myself some decent weapons. I've also got myself, yeah, they've kind of merged bits of the plasma thrower thingy into, ooh, hello. That's a vertebrate up there. Right, well that's, that's not there in the base game. That is of interest. That might be part of a fast travel system of some description. Right, you. Keep my distance from you. But what I've got right now is uh, I've got a gun that can at the bare minimum do some damage. I just want to move away from this area to see if those rads are just ticking up forever now. Is this just a function of the fact the fog has come to town? And also, what's that up ahead? Ferals! Right, I may have been a bit quick to assume that McCarran was still held by the NCR. Because there seems to be ferals at the front door. Okay. Well, on the plus side, they do have this fun habit of just walking straight at you. So hopefully I can take care of them. And I've also got... Ooh, I've got a little scope on these. Well, that's nice. You can just go down nice and quick, please. And wait... Any of the rest of you annoyed by that? One of the rest of you is. Boom. And, oh, boom, boom. And, boom, 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 boom. Right, so all of that ammo, all of that ammo's gone. All of the ammo is gone at this point. Right, excuse me. No, you don't, because I'm slightly worried what's about to happen if you're about to, oh. Right, so. The old frost trick is still true at this point. In fact, actually, it's worse. Uh, body shots do literally nothing. Basically nothing. I think there's a tiny, tiny amount of damage there. But basically, it's headshots. Headshots or nothing versus ghouls. Right, well, you're dead. And you're probably about to kill me. So this is, this is all marvellously good news. Right, so you have to go for the headshots versus the ghouls. Okay, 16% chance to hit. I'm really regretting that low perception right now. Right. That, that causes problems. And would you believe that missed? Right, by any chance would someone like to help me? Also, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Not really the biggest of my problems. Hello, please help. Please help. Please help. I've got radiation poisoning. Ah, probably time being attacked by this bastard. What else do I have? Well, I've got a machete. Oh, thank you. You're not attacking me, right? No, good. Right, so everything's fundamentally hostile to ghouls. So, okay, so basically, yeah, you can now see the notes from which uh, large parts of Fallout 4 Frost were actually drawn from. The ghouls play by the same rules. What's it over there? Tribals. You know what? I like tribals. Me and tribals are, for the most part, pretty cool with each other. Uh, let's just quickly do some healing. Because, yeah, I've got three stim packs. May as well actually use one of them, get a bit of health going on. Did that just make my water jump up, however? No, because I only just went into H2O, so I only just passed 200. So the Fallout 4 trick of Stimpaks in Survival Mode make you thirstier, that does not exist here. Okay, well, that's good news at least. There's not a huge amount of good news here, but that is good news. Ooh, dog meat. I'll be having that. And I think we've got an angry ghoul over there. Fine, time to get back into my meleeing. So, oh, there's several of them. There's quite a few. And block! Heads! Head, 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 block, heads, 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 oh, there's many of them, including glowing ones now, heads, 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 block, and block, oh, he's about to burst, no, go for the heads, go for the heads, heads, oh, the head does nothing, and my legs are crippled, right, so this is, this is arguably an excellent time, we do, wait, why did I, I was not crippled. My strength fell, so I became over-encumbered. I bet that's what happened. Okay, so I've decided going in that direction, bad idea. Now, one thing, of course, I do need to address a difference between this and Fallout 4 Frost is, of course, Frost, because it was just based on Fallout 4's default survival mode, did have the mechanism built in that you could only save by actually sleeping. Fallout New Vegas Dust does not have that mechanism because Fallout New Vegas didn't have that mechanism built in. Its hardcore mode did not have that as one of the conditions. I could have modded it in. There are custom mods I could have actually added that would have added in that ability to perfectly replicate the Fallout 4 Frost experience. 
I chose not to do that for the very simple reason that Fallout New Vegas is just not as stable a game as Fallout 4. Fallout New Vegas crashes occasionally on loading screens, when you're opening your Pip-Boy, just when it feels like it. That's just a thing that Fallout New Vegas does. So as a result, I just felt like it would be a much worse series if I were to make that one of the conditions of it. Purely because I might be doing something for 20 minutes, then the game would just crash, and then we'd be back 20 minutes of progress, even if I'd done nothing wrong. Now, probably I'm going to die a lot more often because of my own incompetence, but I still just felt it would have been very, very frustrating. So I decided not to actually uh, have that on. Right. Let's see what else we got here. Because sure, I'm now finding out, okay, in small numbers against melee enemies, the old block and go for the head tactic still works very, very well indeed. In fact, I should actually go and verify this. Hang on. Let's just get out a gun of some description. Now, by any chance, yeah. So, tribals, that does half damage. That doesn't do that much more damage. Okay, so the headshots are a ridiculous thing. It only seems to apply to, uh, yeah, to actual ferals. Normal humans play by normal rules. But, good to know that's a thing. And when I run into other male enemies, I need to check that out. I need to find myself food and water. Because I'm already up to, yeah, the game flagging. I need to find some water. I have not found a single source of water yet. So, I need to start just getting the lay of the land... And figuring out what's going on here. This barn is... Yeah, this is the old ant barn, isn't it? Yes, I remember the ant barn. So maybe I should just keep my distance from the old ant barn. Still, if I just had... Oh, actually... Ants! Hello! I'm a human and I'm probably tasty! Now I'm going to lead the ants in this direction. And these bastards, who seem to basically have infinite ammo or whatever, can just deal with the ant for me. So I'm just going to stay around the outside. And these two people are going to... Oh yes, of course, those are flaming ants! I'd forgotten those were flaming ants. You have managed to kill that guy. Well done! <laughs> then he just walks away casually on fire. That guy should be the protagonist. He's the real badass here. So I'm now also hungry. So minus one strength... Meaning, yes indeed, I'm suffering now from being over-encumbered. Well, I guess I may as well just toss away some of these weapons. <laughs> yeah, weapons are a bit more easy come, easy go than they were in Frost. So just toss that away. What do I have that I theoretically can eat? Well, I've got myself a little bit of meat, but... Yeah, perfect world. I'd rather cook it if I could. Because very often, yeah, uncooked meat leads to strength falling, which kind of defeats the object, given I want to actually cook it to get the strength back. Do you want if I just loot this thing for... Ooh, nectar. Nectar is good, and there's some meat. Fine. So, hunting for meat, good. Though, thankfully, I don't need to take a specialised perk in order to actually do any form of hunting or meat gathering. I can still do that. So... In some ways, not quite as cruel. In the intervening years between this and Frost, the guy who made it found new ways to be incredibly cruel. So, this place is now cleared out. And I have found the ant mound. Very, very good indeed. And, ah, ant refuse pile. Oh, good. <laughs> At this point, I'm just basically just going through ant poo to try and find things. And I did. I successfully found a thing. Let's just have a loopsy round here. Carton of cigarettes, all of that business. Ah, this seems useful. Grenades. Oh my. Well, this is good. So some of the mad bomber stuff has just shown up. Oh, this is very good, including Molotov cocktails. And oh, wow. Okay. This stuff could keep me going. There's some missiles. That's a, a bedroll kit. The roughing it bedroll kit allows you to sleep just about anywhere under the stars. Okay. So that is basically a porter bed if I need to actually get sleep for tiredness. That is of interest too. Three microfusion cells and a stealth boy. Right, well I'm now massively overweight capacity. I mean, that's all very welcome, but now I need to dump even more stuff. Yeah, I think unfortunately it's time to immediately dump the patrol armor because uh, I just physically can't actually afford to be having this with me. So that needs to go away and instead the tribal stalker armor will do the job. And unfortunately that portable ability to sleep, though very, very useful indeed, is going to take up 10 of my actual capacity. So that is no good at all. And here's our hero, Doc Mitchell himself. <laughs> it's been a bad couple of years for Doc Mitchell, and he's ready to get some revenge on the bloody wastelands. Now also worth noting, of course, that yeah, at this exact moment in time, no rad. So maybe the rads are partially situational. That's of interest. Very of interest, as is the fact I've now got a giant pile of explosives. Right, 
So I've got a little bit of food. Killing things for food, that is possible. Though bear in mind, actually, compared to Fallout 4, New Vegas' enemy list, for the most part, didn't include uh, that much in the way of wildlife. New Vegas wasn't that wildlife heavy. It had a lot more human enemies, whereas Fallout 3 had a lot of wasteland that had an awful lot of uh, just wildlife in it, as did Fallout 4. So, uh, unless I'm willing to go cannibal, which is absolutely an option... I will at some point have to start making some very difficult decisions about, yeah, what I'm going to do for food on an ongoing basis. Now, this is Cass's caravan. So let's just quickly see if any of this happens to be available to me. It presumably shouldn't be. There's a single drained energy cell. And, ah, there's a survivor in here, including a eulogy. Intriguing. Here lies Hank Jacobson Sr. He shared my name and shared my road for many a mile. He raised me to the best of his ability and taught me everything I know. But more important than any of that, he gave me hope. Despite all that happened, he stayed hopeful. He was a great man and Lord knows I miss him already. I must carry on. Carry on for his sake. I'll miss you, Dad. Okay. So this guy was just, yeah, presumably left here. When he died, because what else are you going to do? Well, there's soil over there. You could have buried him. Do people bury each other? Yes, people do bury each other in New Vegas, because there are specifically, like, you know, graves and shovels. So, all right. Maybe he didn't have a shovel. So, new destination. If I head across this open ground here, directly to the east, a bit of land that's fairly quiet in the base game, I should start approaching some water, the edge of Lake Mead. So, that was obviously the biggest source of clean water floating around in the base game. So probably that's not a bad starting point, but I've got to feel like, I've got to feel like, you know, that's been realised and that's going to be like, I don't know, held by raiders or now it's full of lava or something. But we will go and see. In fact, actually, that bridge is probably the safest way to go. That way I've got a bit of high ground so I can figure out what's going on. Because of course, yeah, no compass markers, which again is why perception doesn't really need to be as high because the compass has been basically completely... Hello? Who's shooting who? Well, someone's shooting somebody. Ah, and those shacks are still there. So those shacks used to be merchants, of course. That was where you could buy some food and drink. Now, it would be lovely, absolutely lovely, if that was still the case. But I'm just going to guess... It's not that easy. Because, oh, there's someone down there. And whoever it is, they're limping. Except is that... Is that a ghoul? Is that... A, that looks a bit like a ghoul to me. And also, I'm in danger now. That was... It was not a ghoul because... No, it's a survivor. Right. Okay, so survivors, as it turns out, bigger dicks than tribals. So... Let's just quickly hide up here. I feel very naked right now, to be honest. Oh, I need to. I need to get down here. I need to get down here. Okay, and wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go. Oh, bloody hell! Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! Okay, so there's the tunnelers. Right. I've decided I don't want to go east anymore. I've decided I don't want to go east anymore. I've decided I don't want to go east anymore. I've decided I don't want to go east anymore. I've decided I don't want to go east anymore. I also decided I'm going to jump off this bridge now. This is going to hurt my legs. Okay. Um. Right, I'm going to go hide in... I need to find somewhere to hide. Like, now, they're coming. Put weapon away. There's nothing I can do to tunnel us just yet. Right, so... Oh, no. He might have been a shot before somebody killed him. Right, okay, hang on. Can they actually get over... Can they get over the... They might not be... Oh, jump, jump! That was water! Okay, I found water! So, while I'm not actually panicking, let's actually very briefly discuss tunnelers. Because tunnelers are really, really interesting enemies. Tunnelers basically hit like a flipping brick. They hit hard, but they're also very flimsy. Like many creatures in New Vegas, they have damage threshold of zero. So as a result, rapid firing weapons actually work pretty well against them. They will go down pretty fast. A well-placed explosive could actually do some really nice work to them. Also, oh, this is interesting. Two different kinds of Molotov cocktails. And the DPS is... Okay, the DPS is her on the scotch, because I don't know, the alcohol's burning or something? Hmm, interesting. Well, this could potentially be very, very good at clearing out a crowd of them, or at the bare minimum, crippling the legs, just like Deathclaws. 
Cripple the legs, those guys are pretty much useless. Homemade frag grenade. I am lacking in ammo already. Alright, I'm gonna get out the sniper rifle. If I could just, you know, avoid drawing their attention, that was most definitely water in that little thing over there. So, hang on, what's going on? Sniper rifle out of place. Admittedly, the, the scope is going to sway like crazy. Sadly, I think possibly in a scripted event, the guy who runs the water shop is murdered. <laughs> Which is very sad. I like the water shop, man. So, what is that? Okay, this time there's two people over there. Who are those people? No, three! Right, well, this is, this is different from a second ago. Alright, well... In theory, just in theory, just one tunneler coming in to potentially clear out this area. Not the worst thing in the world. Right, there's a survivor. Where are the other survivors? There's another one. Right, I've got eyes on two. That person's also wearing a backpack. Now, I like backpacks because sometimes you can equip them yourself for more carry capacity. Uh, that was totally a mess. Right, well done, mate. I feel like that wasn't a miss, but oh dear, weapon spreads. Okay, this is no good. Right, okay. Um, unless, of course, they're about to run off and get themselves killed by tunnelers because they just ran in the wrong direction. If that's what they'd like to do, that'd be great. And line up the shots. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Darn it. Right, well, that's all three shots gone. Well, in this case, apparently now it's time for me to sort this out with explosives. So, one Molotov cocktail. No idea how those work in this game, but let's give it a flipping go. Let's just see how well this works. Probably the answer is not well. Uh, you're right in the middle of that, though. And boop! Right, they do not have much in the way of range. At all. And now I'm stuck here. Well, you only live once, or in my case many times, so... Activate the Massive Fusion Charge! He just came over to hit me with a stick. Right, I may have been overthinking this slightly. That block! Block, 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 block. Stop, 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 and go for the head. Go for the head. Go for the head. Right, he's dead, but now that guy's shooting me with bullets. Luckily, he's a terrible, terrible, terrible shot. Right, well, I just cleared them out. I have as well, good! Thankfully, stim packs are a little bit more on the common side, too. So, bloody wasteland fatigues. Yeah, sorry about that. You shouldn't have come with a lead pipe, to be honest. Right, so this armour has just... Uh-oh. 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 What? What? If that's the tunnelers, I'm going to be really annoyed. Right, just do the stim packs, all right? Just do all the stim packs. And... Well, I see... Is that a Brahmin right there? Might be. Might be. Also, don't forget to loot everybody, because 9mm revolver, that's new. Legion Duster. la -da, da action points plus 5. And... Okay. Whatever's going on here, it seems to be calm for now. No, that's not a problem, that's a... Okay, who who is attacking me and why are they attacking me? Survivor camp. Okay. Who who is it? Is it and also is this clean? No, it's dirty. But it's water. Oh flip. Right, now fortunately, these bastards also can't like, you know, jump Unfortunately, they also hunt in a little team. So okay. Basically, this camp is a source of water, but it's also a source of death. Still, useful to know, some of the actual little, like, troughs of water that you find dotted around do still seem to be filled up with water. So potentially, that could be an interesting source of supply. So, for example, yeah, around a Good Spring Source, there's one of those troughs of water. So, if I can just remember where all them are, like, there's one in, um, yeah, in Crimson Caravan, there's, like, one there. I know for a fact there's one in there, there's one in Good Springs. I'm pretty sure there's one of them around the NCR outpost. So, it might be Dirty Water. Also, hello over there. Yeah, NCR, Arslan, the Watchtower. Some of them anyway. Not all of them. In fact, actually, only a handful. But, still potentially of use. I'm starting to wonder if maybe 
Yeah, actually, they could actually do this in reverse. It's possible the only way to access McCarran is uh, via the monorail from the Strip rather than vice versa, where, yeah, one of the only two ways to access the Strip was using the monorail. It could actually be in reverse, which would be a fun twist. So, okay, back to the map. In terms of useful locations in this part of the world, there's also... Ah, there is, of course, the sharecropper farms. That might be a source of food, potentially. So how about we just ignore the death camp over there and that guy who I just pointed out is probably going to kill me. Let's see if I can just figure out what else is going on in the world. If I could just basically keep my distance from both the death camp and the nasty NCR sniper, that could potentially be of interest. Yes, I see you up there, and you are quite a long way off. So, stay between the two. There's the, what's it called, the Aerotech uh, Aerospace Park thing. A little settlement where you get the Coyote's Quest in the base game, and someone's firing at somebody. I'm going to work under the assumption... That's probably those survivors being cleared out by tunnelers. So yeah, tunnelers, not quite as dangerous as you might be assuming. Tunnelers, in fact, oh, that's a nice shot of you with the sun behind you, la -dee da uh, Tunnelers, yeah, if you've just got the right... Ah, that's who's firing. That guy was just firing at something over there, which is probably an excellent warning sign that there's still something bad over there, because you haven't put your gun away. So the question is, what is it? Oh dear. Oh, flipping dear. Have you calmed down? He's calmed down a bit. Alright. It's possible it's run off or he's softened it up for me sufficiently that I would be able to take it out. Alright. What was it? I don't I think we're okay for the time being. Alright. Do I want to go to air attack? Or would I rather just head straight through to the actual, uh, yeah, the, oh. That's what he was going for. Hulking tunnelers. Ouch. Okay, so this game is not messing around with leveling or anything. It's very happy to put hulking tunnelers in straight away. Okay. Tunnelers, for the moment, for me, are a brick wall. But if I could just find a rapid-fire weapon and a bit of hollow-point ammo... I will be able to tear tunnelers apart. It's not that bad. Especially if you're just using the right ammunition. Tunnelers are manageable. But you've got to have the ammo for it. If they get on top of you, you're dead. But if you can take them up before they can get to you, which is not even that difficult to do, they're actually not even that bad. Next to death claws, they're not bad at all. Because death claws have the problem of they actually come with built-in damage threshold. Tunnelers do not. And more fire. I'm going to guess that's an NCR person trying to take out a tunneler, potentially from a raised position, which would indeed be quite clever. But, I don't know exactly where they are. Alright, and... There is a, a cloud victim. Now, a cloud victim... Cloud victims are apparently, yep, fundamentally hostile to everybody. Fine, so... The clouds come in. Some people have reacted quite badly to it. Right. Bad news for me. Very bad news. Right, I'm just going to hide over here. I'm going to hide over here and just let the camera advise if anyone gets close. Oh, Doc Mitchell, I'm so sorry about this. Right, in comes... Ah! It's not just a cloud victim. It's a cloud person. It's the red flipping skull. Right, okay. Getting over there. Hit him and go for the arms... Go for the legs. Ah, it's not a ghost person, though. Because a ghost person, if you just basically, uh, yeah, if you take out any of their limbs, if they cripple a limb, they automatically die. This is not that. This is just a person who is exposed to the cloud. And uh, actually, they look more like the people from Lonesome Road, to be honest. So, caravan outfit, electron charge pack, makeshift particle rifle. Intriguing. Very intriguing. I've got nothing against giving that a go. So, runs on, yeah, the EC packs. Uh, but will run drive very quickly and does damage over time if it hits. Anything else around here? No. Seems to be fine. So, this should be Aerotech. Unless, of course, it's just been... Oh. Someone's firing at something. There's Aerotech. 
there's 18 XP, and it is... It's a survivor. Survivor's taking a pot shot at something, could well just be wildlife. Okay. Now uh, the question is, here we go. Aerotech Office Park. Be ready to move straight back out again, if danger. Because probably danger. Oh. Right. The cloud is not just, yeah, a natural phenomenon. We've got some children of atom sorts who have started popping up, worshipping the cloud. Well, that's of... Ouch! Well, someone just flipping nailed me. Probably it was that guy over there who I saw earlier. So, oh! Don't forget, John, they are coming up behind you to kill you. Oh, he's got a shish kebab. la -de da Actually, if he's got a shish kebab and the other one's only got a gum... This might not be the worst thing in the world. Right, I should probably head over in this direction. But actually, can I get down here? Oh, sewers! Excellent! I thought we'd be close to the... Oh, dear! That's worse, that's worse, that's worse. But not that worse. Because... Look at you. Hello, my good man. We just take out one of your limbs. Then we're good. And... Boom! Crippled... Ghost is... Ah, but just like traditional ghosts... They can't be killed except by severing limbs. Are you coming for me yet, by the way? Because if you're not, I need to just very quickly disable one of these guys' arms. Needs to be disabled, like, now. Oh! Excuse me, are you still coming for me? Did you just follow me down into the sewer? Because do you feel like maybe we might have more important things to do right now? Okay. This bit of the map may be a mistake. Poor Dog Mitchell. You're going to see him dead a lot in this. Okay, maybe if I just try and run straight past the ghost people, then potentially the ghost people will take out the actual pursuing ghouls for me. Except that's... Oh, there's a lot of ghost people down here. Except, weirdly, they don't seem that aggressive. Like, they're following me, but not particularly effectively. Okay, this could be of interest. And also remember, these guys are abominations, so they play by abomination rules. Can you follow me through loads of- Ow! What the- I just- <laughs> I just walked through a grate and just immediately fell to my death. Right, okay, so. Important thing. Maybe don't do that. In fact, you know what? I've got a stealth boy, don't I? Screw it. Who the hell are these bastards? And if I just fall down step by step, that's much better. Right. These guys- Cannibals! Oh, you always want to fall into a cannibal den. They're all standing very close to each other. Hang on. I've got an idea. I've still got that cluster in this universe. So how about we just very quickly put ourselves a nice... Apparently I can't even get over there. Fine, you know what? Screw it. Go! And boom! That'll do. You apparently survived that. Well done. Not for much longer, mind. Down you go. So the makeshift thing basically sets them on fire. Fine, so. Cannibal Dan. Apparently just here. Cannibals have got... Ooh, armoured leather robes. Damage threshold of 8 in poor condition. Only a weight of 8. That's not even that bad. Mutilated legs. Strange meat pies. Okay, cannibalism hurts sanity. Unsurprising, really. Also, riot gear, varmint rifle, and extended mags. Okay, so with the lack of shops, instead you can find weapon mods just out in the wild. Energy cells. Fine, energy weapons may be a lot more common than I was expecting. Makeshift shotgun, old NCR armor. All right, well, this is of interest. This is what you do, by the way. You literally just set up traps and then wait for people to fall into your cannibal deck. You know what? Can't deny, seems to have worked for you so far, though. Where the hell am I actually right now? Technically. Oh. Right. You can just basically... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, this thing is slow as anything. Very slow, in fact. Boo. Just reload faster. Right, and... Go. And what the heck? I think I just blew myself up there. Right. Okay. Cannibals in the sewers. Got it. Right, I think I've learned everything I can as Doc Mitchell right here. So now I want to see what I can learn about the rest of the Mojave because there's eight flipping starting locations I haven't even looked at yet. So, door number two, abandoned home. 
And I am in... Is this Good Springs? Hang on, this might be Good Springs. And I've also got myself... Please tell me I've got some food or drink, given I've got... Oh, I've got booze. Booze will do as a starting point. Oh, Wasteland Omelette! That's actually a really amazing item. It's a great item. One Cosmic Knife, Strange Meat Pie, Jet. Oh, I'm a druggy cannibal. I like how every starting location you can sort of, you know, figure out what your story's supposed to be. And uh, that's only one round to go, is it? Right, well, at least I get a shotgun. That's good, I suppose. And there is actually a bed I can use here. Right, well, this isn't terrible as a base. Yeah, I'll accept this as a starting point too. Also, just double check what rules everything actually plays by in this game. So, booze makes you more thirsty, but Sunset Sarsaparilla does actually make you less thirsty. Okay, good. Good to know. Sunset Sarsaparilla can replace water if need be. So, lever action shotgun and a few blasts in it too. Though, bear in mind, yeah, until you've got shotgun surgeon... Or unless you're going up against something with zero damage threshold. Shotguns are kind of garbage until such time as, yeah, you've uh, actually spec them out. Once you've got and stay back and shotgun surgeon, shotguns are the most hilariously OP things in New Vegas. Before that point, they're kind of terrible. Right, so this isn't actually... No, this is not Good Springs. And the game does not actually tell me where I am just yet. Okay. Well, into the Mojave Wasteland we go. Where am I exactly? And the answer is... Oh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Right, well this is... Well, I'm already dead. Okay, this is interesting. I'm gonna take one of them with me! I didn't take one of them! I took one of them with me! And then I... Right, I don't like this starting location. Now hang on, just very quickly go over to the world map here. Ah, I'm in mean, one of the houses on the outskirts of... Uh, yeah, the west side of Vegas. Fine, you don't... I literally just stepped out of the door and I exploded. <laughs> yeah, I've decided we're not starting here. Door number three, shack. So, where am I now? This is, ah, I know where this is. This is the, um, yeah, the flying school thing. That's just to the south of Good Springs. Okay, that seems like a good starting location. And fighters, rags, settlement flyer. All right, and crafting kits. Okay, so if I want to craft on the go, and if I want to beat people with a bone. All right, and... Oh! Star bottle cap. I wonder if Malcolm Holmes spawns in. It would be hilarious if he did. Ooh, maybe you could be hunted down by ghoul Malcolm Holmes. I wouldn't bet against it. That would be quite funny. Uh, ammo boxes. Okay, fine. So, not exactly a great set of starting gear in here, by the way, because actually is the key still there. Yes, the key is still there, so I don't actually need lockpick 50. Okay. Handful of things here. Adventure outfit. It'll do. And a whole bunch of... Ooh. Volcanic pistol. Well, that's fascinating. Damage 17. And DPS 33. That is... Not to... Ooh, it's fancy. I approve of this. Right. So out we go into the waste to the south of Good Springs. And... Right, so I've stepped out into a war zone. <laughs> good, 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 good. Well, I wasn't really expecting anything else. So probably best just head over to... Yeah, this is a good way of verifying, actually. So Good Springs source. Is that actually going to be a good source of... Water. Oh, I see. I see people. I see many people. Except, did one of them just fall over? Are you guys all fighting each other? Hang on. Hang on. Survivor. Neutral survivor. What are you guys doing right now? What's going on with you bastards? The answer seems to be you're fighting something. Good. If this starting location basically just, uh, yeah, kicks off with a big fight, then I can just basically use my guns to pick off whatever's left at the end of it, then loot the dead. That might very much work for me. I've got into caution, though. That is something to be a little bit worried about. Here we are. Good spring source. All right. And do we have ourselves... No! No! Not all of the water troughs are... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dear! Right. So. 
slight problems with this part of the world, like, for example, tunnelers. Well, I just did a ton of damage to you, and Vat's defense helped me out a little bit too. Um, right, well, I guess I'm just going to hit you with a stick now, because I'm not really sure what my options are. So, hit him with a stick. There we go. I've just battered a tunneler to death with a stick. And he's actually got meat on him, but it's irradiated, so it's not good stuff. Still, I'm quite happy I just took you out. And by any chance, does... Oh, dear. Right, so the hill that was basically full up of geckos in the base game, that's now full up of tunnelers, is it? Because if just one of them were to come down and clear out a giant pile of people for me, which is... Ooh. Seemingly what has actually happened. Hang on, what's that over there? One tunneler... One survive. who's... Are you trying to punch a tunneler to death? Because that's... That's ballsy of you. That's ballsy right there. Okay, so... In this starting location, there's a bunch of survivors. But then what happens afterwards is tunnelers come down off the hill and basically murder them. Now that is... Yeah, not a bad thing from my point of view at all. No water actually from any of these locations. That doesn't mean there's not water elsewhere. Plus, campfire. Alright, that's not too bad at all. And yeah, leather armour. I could do with all of this. And just make sure we pick off the survivor. Unless, of course, he doesn't mind me. Like, these two guys seem to not really mind me or each other. Oh, 7308. Oh, yeah, our oh, medium backpack. You see, this is what I need to get hold of. Oh, battle rifle. Oh, flip. Oh, flip. Oh, flip, and Thorazine. Right, so, yeah, all the things that came back in Fallout 4 started their life here. Gotcha. And then, oh, you are weirdly just running around. Right, that might just be the pacifist tunneler right there. Still, I've got a battle rifle, which is nice. So, I can just basically see you. Right, sneak attack critical. This place is weird. Excuse me. Do you not mind the fact that I just shot you? And it's like he wants to have a conversation with me. Okay. No, he really did not mind me shooting him. How about you? You also don't seem to mind that hugely. I may have just made the slight tactical error of making a tunneler angry. Yes, I've made the huge tactical error of making a tunneler angry. Save me, son of shotgun, despite being terrible. Yeah, in Vats especially, shotguns are terrible. Oh, well. This is an interesting... You just missed. There you go. Well, that was an interesting thing to learn about. I mean, if I can get that first bit right, that might work. Door number four. A different shack. And this shack is... What is this shack? Oh, I've got a crafting kit, a knife, some ammo, some surgical tubing, and... Ah! Oh, that's nice. So I'm guessing, yeah, in this version, I'm probably an NCR soldier who lost his buddy after trying to perform surgery on him, an amputation gone wrong. And now, as a result, it's time for me to leave this place behind. But this seems like a very bad starting point, to be honest. I mean, oh yeah, he technically doesn't actually have armor on him because he doesn't have his leg. So weirdly, when you come across the assets where an NCR's like had his leg cut off like in the surgical rooms, they're technically not wearing armor, even though they look like they are because they're wearing custom armor that's not actually armor. So, yeah, I start this without any actual armor and with only a varmint rifle. So this does not seem like a good starting point. Neither does the fact that I start off with literally one bullet. One flipping bullet. Marvelous. And I think I... Oh, yeah. And I immediately step outside, and by any chance, there, that's a swarm of tunnelers. Yes, I've decided that this location is the bad place. And we are located... Ah, I see where we are. We're not too far away from kind of Camp Forlorn, Hope, Cottonwood Cove, that sort of territory. Actually, yeah, um, Forlorn Hope be further north. But, yeah, I see where we are. This doesn't seem like a desperately interesting bit of the map anyway, so I'm happy to leave this one be. But I wouldn't mind if I could, just dropping down over here, just see what... Oh, yeah, I'm in Tunneler Central. I'm in flipping Tunneler Central. This is definitely a no-no. Door number five, Black Rock Cavern. And I start in a cave... 
next to a corpse of a survivor. Bit of money, crafting kit, a grunt outfit, a journal, and the paladin toaster. So yeah, unique variant of an unarmed weapon that actually causes bonus damage to robots. And power armor, which does not seem like the most common thing in the world, but what have you. Together with a handful of drugs. And a note that might actually tell me what's going on here. Doc Mitchell's got a strange look in their eye lately, and I'm afraid it's the glove. It's always been about the glove. I've got to get out of here. Ah! So I was travelling with this woman, and then I presumably lured her into a cave and then murdered her for her magic glove. So in this universe, Doc Mitchell is not a very nice man. There's also a dead Night Stalker here, which is worrying, because if there's a dead Night Stalker, that might mean there's live one somewhere else. And this brings us out, well, I recognise Helios 1, of course. Little cliff overlooking Helios 1. And that is, did I just see a... Uh... Yeah, rad scorpions, thought so. So... We got rad scorpions, but this seems like an okay sort of location. There's all the tents at the back of Helios 1, whoever's holding that right now. We got Novak just up the road, Nelson barely down the road at all. Old Lady Gibson's scrapyard is right there, Boulder City's not too far. This seems like a nice central location, assuming I can avoid being eaten by all of the rad scorpions, yes. Downside of Black Rock Cavern, of course, literally no guns and basically no decent armour, so I'd be starting off with nothing. Several of the locations I've seen so far give you a more generous start. And final one for room number two, door number six, the hidden armoury. That's the... that's the building under Red Rock, is it not? I think it might be. Uh, so I've got... ooh, duck... wait, why am I stealing this? This isn't stealing, it's not stealing... ooh, explosives. Well... Machete, ammunition, I wanted a bobby pin, but if I could just get a bobby pin from somewhere, and also lockpick 25, that would be of interest. Right, so, survivor, who's got, ah, cage door key, and that's not a bad submachine gun, and a bunch of ammo. Well, unsurprisingly, starting in the armory gets you a bunch of, you know, weapons and whatever. But, some of it's locked away, and the keys don't work. And you have got Tesla armor, together with... Ooh, makeshift breathing mask. I'm not sure if, yeah, resistance to the cloud is a function of rad resistance in this mod. It might be. Grenade launcher and one grenade. Tesla armor. I'm going to assume I can't just equip that immediately. No, power armor training rules do still apply. So, dump that. Don't need that at all. And I've got myself, yeah, all of the workbenches I could ever need... Crafting kit. So yeah, you get given a crafting kit automatically at the beginning of the game. No matter where you start, pretty much as far as I can tell. Gun cabinet. Oh yeah. Okay. So you're relatively good on the old gun and armor front if you start here. But I'm going to guess that therefore, you know, there's going to be... There's going to be a downside to that outside. Oh yeah. Yeah, I figured there might be. What's the downside exactly? Hang on. What's, what's already spotted me the moment I took a step outside? And the answer is... Venomous Tunneler. Great. Oh, marvellous. That is just what I wanted to see. Are they coming? Well, something saw me. Something's... Right, okay, make a run for Red Rock Canyon. Let's just see what the state of Red Rock is right now. Let's just check who lives there. Because I'm going to guess it's going to be lovely, friendly people who welcome me with open arms. No sign of that tunneler. Wherever the hell he was, assuming that was what spotted me. Because, yeah, I've got seven rounds of... Ooh, hello. Ammo box. Missiles. That's that's heavy for no well-explained reason. Yeah, I've got seven uh, hollow point rounds. Now, that will tear apart anything that's a creature. All right. Where are you? Where are you and what are you? Because the Khans, well, in pretty much any ending of New Vegas, the Khans aren't in Red Rock anymore. Either they've naffed off elsewhere after the battle, or they were wiped out. So, it's unlikely to be Khans who are living here. In which case, who is? Because this is too big an area just to have been left. Oh. Something's moving down there. Too far away for my vats to get a bead on it. Right. By any chance, friendly. Because there was a friendly town in Frost. So if I could figure out where the friendly settlement is, 
That'd be marvellous. Tribals! Hello, I'm going to put my gun away now. Now, if me and you just stay at a safe distance from each other... Hello? I'm giving you respect. I'm, you know, respecting your personal space. I'm, I'm guessing they're not. No, they're... Right, so as it turns out, these tribals, less friendly because I'm literally invading their house. So, fair enough, I suppose. Still, not the worst thing in the world. Like, if I just got some good guns and armor, potentially invading Red Rock just to clear out these bastards might not be the worst thing at all. Though, there's quite a lot of them. Right. Well, you're coming down with me, you bastards! Okay, let's just go over here. Yeah, this'll do. One dynamite! We shall all go together when we go! That didn't actually kill anyone. It killed me. That was slightly embarrassing. I was kind of hoping to take everybody with me. Door number seven, a safe house. That sounds nice and safe. Ah, it's the followers safe house. Yeah, I recognize this place immediately. So, pipe rifle and a handful of 10 millimeter. Today's physician, a bunch of foot lockers, but nothing in any of them. All right, check the fridges. New cola, hang on, what does new cola do to a thirst? That, that does get thirst down. All right, that fridge is empty. Bunch of lockers, but nothing major. And a pile of corpses. A large backpack. Well, that's not bad. Yeah, weight plus 35 immediately. Plus, they've got a crafting table here. Survivor. Leather duster's not terrible. Breathing mask. Yeah, three different bodies. Not much in the way of weaponry, though. And the water fountain, I'm going to guess. Doesn't work. Doesn't do anything. Though it kind of sounds like it actually, you know, is doing something. It's supposed to just be like the rattling of the pipes. Plumbing does not work. Right, so I know where I am right now. I'm in the hills that are close by to Vault 22. Now, Vault 22 might not be the stupidest idea. Because if I can just get in there... I know there's Cazadors in that part of the world. And I'm going to guess they're still there. In fact, there's probably 10 bajillion more of them. Yeah, the actual, um, the top two floors, or top three floors, I think, aren't that busy. So even if the actual monstrosities are still there, I can do a bit of looting in there, pretty much for free. Although, actually, mantises are probably going to be difficult, because you don't want to engage a mantis at point-blank range, and they're difficult to hit with guns. Alright, we'll see if the mantises are still guarding it. Still, there's a bunch of stuff. Ooh, I could just make a run for Jacobstown. Alright, there might be... Ah, but the forest is going to be dangerous. Cazadors, mantises, and it's a fairly long way. There are, however, a bunch of farms, just, you know, basically along the north edge of the map, which is what you're looking at there. Might be worth a look, and we're not even that far from the strip. Now, obviously, you need to kind of find your own way around the world in this mod, so if I had to guess, I'd say, yeah, they're going to put stuff in obvious locations. Like, for example, I think there was some stuff, yeah, there were some helpful hints as to where to go next around Concord in Fallout 4 Frost. So, logically, there should be something helpful hidden in locations that are big, well-known central plot locations in Vegas as well. So, if I had to guess, going to the Strip would be a good place to pick up the trail. Alright, this could be a good one. Door number eight. Yet another shack. And is this a better shack or a worse shack? Well, it does come with a giant scythe. Alright, I could deal with that. Nine millimeter rounds... A 9mm revolver. Fine. Two bits of ammo. There's my crafting kit. Bunch of tin cans. Ah, whoever this guy is, presumably he tried to hide out here, but eventually ran out of all food. Yeah, supplies ran out. So, at this point, he's got no choice but to make a run for it. Except, ah, checklist there. Fine, we've actually got a bit of lore for this guy. Scout perimeter. Check. Catch dinner. Check. Eat dinner. Check. Die. Two bullets left. Here goes nothing. Oh, blimey. Right, so I just moved into uh, this guy's life, Scott Bacula Star, when he was about to kill himself. Uh, okay, well, I'm sure we can actually do better than that. Let's see where we are. And this is... Oh! Oh, it's Raoul's shack, isn't it? Right, this is just across the road from the, uh, the gypsum train yard. And that means I am deep inside Deathclaw and Cazador territory. Right, yeah, you know what? Maybe the two bullets plan was actually a good plan. You are kind of located in hell. Though, one advantage we do have is, yeah, if you just basically turn right immediately and make a break for it, you'd be pretty darn close to the open plain that leads over towards Crimson Caravan. 
Okay, that might be... Right, no, never mind. Death Claws. Obviously, obviously Death Claws. Hang on. No, 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 no. I've got your number. I've got two bullets. And that's going to be one more than I need to take care of you. Never mind, it wasn't. Right. Um, let's just, you know, see if we can get two hypercriticals. And the answer is no and no. Should have used the bullets on myself, really. Yeah, probably would have been better. Right, so that's a bit of a hardcore starting location. Not much equipment, and you're in hell. But closest to the strip I think we've seen so far, possibly tied with the safe house. And the final door, door number nine. Wait, is that the door already... No, hang on, no, there is just two safe houses. And I'm... Oh, well, this is a bit of an unpleasant one. Right, is this the... Is this underneath searchlight? Is that where I am right now? Survivor. Who's got himself a journal, makeshift pistol, handful of stuff, nothing major. Still, I do like a starting location that's got a bed in case I need to come back here and sleep. And you, opportunistic outfits. No, this is the um this is the Legion safe house, isn't it? Yeah, this room looks familiar. I think this is the Legion safe house. Uh, Programs Digest, not terrible, but probably not the most useful thing in the world. Uh, there's my crafting kit. Right, so honestly, that doesn't really give me much at all. This is, yeah, that's quite poor. DPS of 6 and damage of 7 with my makeshift pistol. That is probably one of the weaker ones. Though I do quite like the new pipe weaponry. That's kind of cool. Right, and let's just verify this is indeed... Yeah, this is 100% the Legion spot. Though it does have a campfire outside. That's nice for cooking meat. And I believe that is the overlook of the test grounds. <laughs> right over there. So let's just verify that's still full of terrifying ghouls of death. Because it probably will be. I do like the test ground. The test ground is good. So in we go. Some nice seats right there. Some nice authority glasses. Hop over the top. And... Uh, yep. There's a Reaver. So, probably that's that's pretty bad news for me. The fact that there are Reavers and Glowing Ones uh, coming at me right now. That's, that's, that's bad news. But if I didn't go this way, then in theory, I could go to instead. Yeah, this would be close by to Nipton. So that might be an option as well. We might go and have a little look, see what's going on over there. Still... Nine locations that do actually give you pretty good coverage. So we had there, we had over there, we've got one that was about here-ish. And then we had a bunch dotted around the north as well. We had one over there. Fine, so you've got a real good variety. You can start pretty much anywhere on the map, in fact. And yes, yes, I'm aware you're about to kill me. It's fine. Anytime you're ready, you're struggling with a rock right now. Are you genuinely really struggling with a rock? I could actually potentially kill that Reaver. If I get two lucky 35 shots right now, I'll kill the Reaver. And, oh my goodness, I just killed a Reaver. Doc Mitchell is the... There's just another Reaver. Though on the plus side, he seems to be struggling to... Never mind, he isn't struggling to get to me anymore. You know what? Let us remember this iteration of Doc Mitchell, who took a basic pipe pistol and killed a Reaver with it. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, let us rather unusually end at the beginning. Because I've returned to the beginning when you pick our starting location to end off this episode. Because, yes, I think next week we will begin our adventure properly. I think I've got to grips with some of the basics here. And I think I need to actually respec out my character. Because while melee is clearly an important part of the game, it's not quite as important as it was in Fallout 4 Frost. So... I think I want to respect my character a tiny, tiny bit away from melee because, yeah, there's a bunch of... Uh, actually, energy ammo seemed relatively quite plentiful next to some of the ballistics ammo. So uh, I might want to reconsider exactly how I'm planning to spec out my character now I've had a chance to uh, dip my toe in the water. And also, I kind of just thought this would be a nice way of introducing dust so I didn't have to slow down all the subsequent episodes explaining everything bit by bit. So, welcome to Fallout New Vegas Dust, a hardcore survival horror simulator 
thing. And the sequel, or I suppose prequel, or I suppose, wait, technically, no, quite significant sequel chronologically, but prequel in terms of being the predecessor. You know what, it's just a relation, it's a distant relation of Fallout 4 Frost. Welcome to the new Fallout 4 Frost, welcome to the new hardcore survival series on this channel. Welcome to Fallout Do Vegas Dust. We will pick up with Doc Mitchell. Of course, of course, this is going to be the adventure of Doc Mitchell. We are going to kick off the adventure of Doc Mitchell proper next week, ladies and gentlemen, as we pick a starting environment for him and start making some progress, start exploring the world, start figuring out what our plan of action is because we've got to get ourselves set up. We're going to need guns. We're going to need armor. We're going to need aid supplies. And we are going to be needing food and water. Source of water in particular, a little bit on the concerning side. So... We will start figuring all of that out as our brand new adventure begins in earnest next week, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the beginning of our brand new adventure here in Fallout New Vegas, Dust. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.